Yo, what is going on YouTube? Year One Blink here, back with another new Destiny 2 build video for Destiny 2 The Witch Queen. Today, we have the Devouring Light Lumina Secant Filament build. All right, so the main part of the build, we got the Lumina Hand Cannon. There must be meaning in my roar. So, for the Devouring Light build, this is the light part. So we got noble rounds for our intrinsic perk. Kills with this weapon leave behind remnants. Absorbing a remnant converts your next hip fired shot into an ally seeking noble round and partially refills the magazine. That's actually insane. We have chambered compensator which increases stability, moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. Then we have accurized rounds which increases range. You can fire this weapon at longer distances. Then for our exotic trait, we have Blessing of the Sky. Using a noble round on an ally heals them and grants both you and them a weapon damage bonus for a short time. So you're going to be doing, I believe, 81 to the head with that. And for our last perk, we have Polyamor Grip, which increases handling speed, gives you that crazy amount of handling. If you look at all the stats, they're all pretty much well-rounded and a little bit higher than average. Then we have the Lumina Catalyst, which we don't have yet, which would make this gun actually broken. There's a little lore for you guys, and that's the Lumina. Next to the devouring part of the build. Next, we have the Secant Filaments, which is an exotic leg armor. The nature of the Secant is to intercept a curve, a role all human relationships likewise fill. All right, for our exotic armor perk, we have Devouring Rift. Casting an Empowering Rift will grant you Devour. Damage dealt by you and your allies from within your Empowering Rift will disrupt combatants. So what's cool about this, it kind of acts like a healing rift and it gives you devour off rip. So basically it's like you killed somebody and you get all your health back instantly instead of it going kind of slowly with the healing rift. But yeah, that is the devouring rift exotic leg armor that is part of this build. It's actually insane. All right, since we got that done with, now you guys can check out my armor perks. So we got hand cannon targeting. We got hand cannon dexterity and hand cannon loader. Unflinching hand cannon aim times two, shotgun holster. For this build, you want to get your recovery as high as you can. It's okay if it's not at 100. Mine's at 60. But yeah, for the Voidwalker Warlock subclass, we're using Nova Bomb Cataclysm, which is actually insane for getting some crazy clips. We got Empowering Rift, which is the main part of the build, the Devouring build. We got Blink to teleport a short distance. We got Pocket Singularity, can also trigger Devour. So you guys got two ways of triggering Devour from what we see right here. Now is our third way of triggering Devour. We got Axion Bolts, which will also trigger Devour on kill, which makes this build so synergized with everything. Then you have Feed the Void to even synergize even more. Defeat a target to activate Devour. So you need this perk to have Devour. Then we're using Child of the Old Gods to help us with gunfights and slow our opponents down. Okay, for our Void Fragment, we have Echo of Persistence. It buffs Devour, making it last twice as long. And since we're using the Devouring Light build, this works perfectly with the build and synergizes really well. We got Echo of Leeching, health regeneration off melee kills. Echo of Remnants makes our um, Axion Bolt last longer to chase people down. And Echo of Dilation to have more mobility. You guys can see our stats. Recovery at 60. We basically got all the above stats around here. 40s, 50s, and 60s. So yeah, that's basically the build. All right, let's get to the actual highlights of the build. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoy, and let me know what build you want to see next. We have four ways of proccing Devour. Our Super, our Melee, our Class Ability, and our Grenade. So this guy tried to blink away from me. I actually do have Devour locked in times 20 seconds. You keep getting kills, it keeps going, and you just keep wrecking. You literally become unstoppable, as you guys can see. Lumina low-key cooks people. You're going to be doing 70 to the head. If you can hit those headshots to the three tap to the head without any buffs or anything like that. But right here, I switch to my shotgun, switch back to Lumina, keep it going, you know. We're noble rounds times two. And you can also buff your opponents, I mean, your teammates. And even without Devour, you can still put in some work. I kill both of those guys. I'm going to buff my teammate. That way he don't die. He's going to get his health back. One of my favorite clips, so I use my grenade and melee and proc devour, so I kill him with my grenade. Gonna try to three tap this guy, easy. We actually got a remnant and we have devour going. Get all of our health back, barely outgun that guy. Get all of our health back again. We have three remnants, three noble rounds. Gonna go after this guy as well. Gonna hit him for that 70 to the face. Any type of kill will proc devour and health regeneration, especially if you melee as well. 
get double health regeneration. So right here we have Devour proc. We're going to get all of our health back from killing all these guys. We got Remnants. Um, and actually kill that guy with some crazy three taps. Going to buff our teammate and start pushing up. We do extra damage now. We're doing 81 to the head if you have Blessing of the Sky. Got another Remnant. I'm going to buff my teammate again and push this guy. Hit this guy for 81 damage to the face. Right here, Child of the Old Gods. It comes in play. We're going to be hitting some crits with um, our Lumina and just wreck. Right here, I'm just going after this guy. I have Devour proc This guy's going to come after me as well. But it's not wise because I still have Devour proc. going to get all my health back and barely survive that. Right here, I'm going to pop Devouring Rift. Get all my health back. Since I killed somebody, increases the duration of Devour from to like 22 seconds. This guy tries to go after me. He should have never done that because now we go after him with the shotgun. And um, we're going to trigger Devour again because I kill him with my melee. Even if we kill him, we would have triggered Devour. But right here, easy three tap. I'm going to push up. Kill that guy really quick. And also, when you guys pick up Noble Rounds, it reloads your gun. So you can keep on those kill streaks and stuff. And keep with those kill feeds. We're Noble Round times three. Going to buff our opponent. Right here, nice Nova Bomb. Gonna grant devour times what 15 or 16. Get that easy kill. We're gonna push this guy with the shotgun. Easy kill on that warlock. So right here I'm weak. I'm gonna pop my empowering rift. Um, so it's gonna give me my health back. Also grants devour. Child of the old gods kind of helps me right here to weaken them. This build is kind of meta to be honest. I literally dropped like 40 kills with this build. Right here I got devour proct. 20 seconds i do miss a lot of shots here i eventually take that guy out got devour proc again easy guys devour is the main thing of this build and getting all your um remnants and stuff with this build sliding will be your best friend so keep sliding and keep shooting i'm just doing a little blink shotgunning here you guys can do that as well if you want to this build does take a lot of skill I mean, it's not as OP as like the Ace of Spades, but it still does that work and it's low key underrated in the Crucible these days. So the main part that you want to do is use your Empowering Rift to grant Devour. But like I said, you can also use Melee, Grenades, and Super. Like you see right here, use a Super. Now I have Devour times 15. Kill that guy times 15 again. Kill that guy times 15 again. It's literally just a snowball effect. So I throw a nasty nade to go after this guy. He's weak behind the corner. That grounds Devour for 15 seconds. Going to kill that guy. Got a remnant as well. Going to start pushing up. I see that somebody is going to push to my left, I believe. Easy headshots on that guy. This gun is so accurate and it has really good stability and range, which makes it an all-around really good weapon for the Crucible and to wreck your opponents with. Once you have Devour proc this gun becomes OP because all you got to do is just hit your headshots and you're going to wreck. Get all your health back and... Hide behind this corner because I'm weak. One shot, get all my health back. <laughs> That's crazy. So right here, going to get that easy kill with the Lumina. Going to pop my Devouring Rift, get all my health back, which triggers Devour as well. Go after that guy, get that easy kill to get my health back again when I was getting shot from the back. Going to push up over here. I see two guys. Easy double kill for those two headshots. And it's going to increase my Devour to 20 seconds as well. Get some more kills here. I kind of missed some shots, but that guy's dead. And there you guys have it. You guys can see the real power of this build. It's actually insane. I'm going to go after some guys that actually have me weak. I'm going to push back, though. Pop my Empowering Rift. Get all my health back, which grants Devour. I'm going to push up on this guy. Child of the Old Gods helps me get my reload. So, yeah. I'm going to take out this guy with ease. Easy kills right there. Next, we throw a godly grenade. The grenade's going to chase this guy. It's going to proc my devour. Once again, kill this guy. Easy melee kill. And go after this last guy. He's dead. One shot kill, baby. So we keep pushing up here. Right here. And then this guy tries to push me. I just kill him instantly. Yeah, so the same guy is about to rush me. Easy kill. I see this guy. He's an open bird for an easy kill. <laughs> On a 10 kill streak as well. This guy's gonna push up. Remember, guys, use your primary a lot with this build. It's all about your primary skill. And as long as you can get that first kill with the devour, you guys should be good. Right here, we have devour for 22 seconds. 
basically in all these clips we have devour so i'm not gonna say it no more <laughs> i don't know how many times i said devour in this video but you guys can count it this was a cool play because i was able to get him behind the wall with my melee ability hit that 10 kill streak kill that guy on top of the water thing we out here literally dropping 40 bombs 4.67 kds but is there really much more to say guys just be crazy with your movement and destroy your opponent by all means this gun lumina is the most underrated slept on gun in destiny 2 right now hands down has really good range for literally medium range you guys can literally three tap anyone to no avail look at that easy kills baby so right here i pop my devouring light rift Get that easy kill on that guy. We didn't have to reload, but we're gonna reload. Um, where's this next guy at? <laughs> How easy is that, guys? There's two, there's three. All headshots, baby. Slept on gun. What are you guys talking about? Now we're starting to get into some of the good clips. Get that easy double kill. And this is where you guys can really see the range. Look at this. Absolutely melted. This thing has range. Low key, it has some of the best range, in my opinion, out of any hand cannon. This next play, I was even surprised of what happened. I was pushing this guy. I was like, what? I'm going to pop my super, go after this guy with Lumina, get a little nice triple. Super still going after people and killing people. <laughs> get a slayer out of that that was literally my favorite play of the whole uh, video this guy just got absolutely wrecked <laughs> i'm going to record that because he was like shoulder charging and he got headshot while shoulder shoulder charging you can make the most insane plays with this build and this build is literally um it's actually really good to run it's pretty much meta and i just wreck with it so yeah this is one of the reasons why you guys should be using Cataclysm Nova Bomb. Pop my super. What? I killed the whole team. Get out of here. Yeah, guys, you just got to keep getting kills while Devour's proc. That's pretty much the gist of this build. And heal your teammates with your abilities and everything. Right here is about to die. I use Secret Filaments, Exotic Boots. Got all my health back. Boom. Easy kill. Got Devour proc as well. That's gonna help me get the kill as well. Just like that. Keep Devour going. And this guy thinks he's gonna outgun us. What, what are you doing, bro? Easy kills, easy dubs. Nice rocket right there for a nice double kill. So yeah, guys, the Secret Filament with the Lumina. One of the best builds. This Divine Devouring Light build is just gonna take it to the next level in your Crucible gameplays. So much synergy for just one build to make this one of my favorite builds that i've made in a while so thank you all for watching make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the clips and enjoy your day everyone one, three opponents down fantastic work you're unstoppable
and strings He's just the one who understands when the tides will swing So he's breaking down doors, never far away Come on and sight yourself up oh, Cause it's time to play Bounce to the beats and the rhymes Cause they're here to stay The one and only marathon man Living the day, moving up, coming fast And the force is away Because the pressures of this world They can take their toll And it's time to get away When they take the hold The only way to break free is to break the mold Stop now!